Welcome to Act Notes Tutorials, my name is Shelly, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the Klinger Cohen Act. What is the Klinger Cohen Act? The Klinger Cohen Act was signed into law in 1996 as part of the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 1996. The act is designed to improve the way the federal government acquires, uses, and disposes of information technology. The Klinger Cohen Act encompasses both the Information Technology Management Reform Act and the Federal Acquisition Reform Act. What are the goals of the Klinger Cohen Act? The Klinger Cohen Act establishes an approach for executive agencies to improve the acquisition and management of their information resources by having three goals. Goal 1 Focus information resource planning to support their strategic missions. Goal 2 Implement a capital planning and investment control process that links to budget formulation and execution. And Goal 3 Rethink and restructure the way they do their work before investing in information systems. Klinger Cohen Act Requirements For defense acquisition programs, the Klinger Cohen Act mandates that all programs that acquire information technology, including national security systems, that the Milestone Decision Authority shall not initiate a program, increment, entry into any phase, or award a contract until the program manager has satisfied the requirements of this Act. Remember the Klinger Cohen Act encompasses both the Information Technology Management Reform Act and the Federal Acquisition Reform Act. I will go into more detail of each of these acts next. Information Technology Management Reform Act. There are four key requirements to this act that defense personnel need to know. 1. The office management and budget director is responsible for improving the acquisition, use, and disposal of information technology to improve federal programs. 2. Agency heads are to design and implement processes for maximizing the value and managing the risks of their information technology acquisitions. 3. Chief information officers for federal agencies. CIOs are responsible for providing advice and assistance to agency heads on information technology acquisition and information resources management. And finally 4. The agency heads shall identify in the agency's information resources management plan major information technology acquisition programs that have significantly deviated from their respective cost, performance or schedule goals. The Federal Acquisition Reform Act. There are also four key requirements to this act that defense personnel need to know. 1. Efficient competition. The federal acquisition regulations shall ensure that the requirement to obtain full and open competition is implemented in a manner that is consistent with the need to efficiently fulfill the government's requirements. 2. Efficient competitive range determinations. The intent is that a determination of the competitive range be made after the initial evaluation of proposals, on the basis of the rating of those proposals. The rating shall be made on the basis of price, quality and other factors specified in the solicitation for the evaluation of proposals. 3. Commercial item exception to requirement for certified cost or pricing data. The submission of certified cost or pricing data shall not be required for the acquisition of a commercial item. The contracting officer is still authorized to require the submission of information other than certified cost or pricing data to determine price reasonableness. And finally 4. Application of simplified procedures to certain commercial items. This authorizes the establishment in the Federal Acquisition Regulations of simplified acquisition procedures for items within a certain dollar range when the contracting officer reasonably expects that offers will include only commercial items. Klinger Cohen Act Reporting. The program manager will report Klinger Cohen Act compliance to the Milestone Decision Authority and the component chief information officer. For information technology programs employing an incremental development model, the program manager will report Klinger Cohen Act compliance at each major decision point. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Klinger Cohen Act. For more information please visit the webpage. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.